Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl blessing. In this tutorial, you'll be learning how to make a reversible bralette. Okay, so if this is what you like to learn, let's go right into the video. Alright, so we'll be needing the satin fabric as one side and also the African print, that's Ankara fabric, for the other side. A pattern paper to drop the pattern, which I already folded into four. We are going to be doing this as though we are cutting a flay. Okay, you fold your, your material or your pattern into, into two and also fold it into another two. Okay, so you measure from your over bust to your under bust. Okay, from your over bust, that's the upper part of your bust to the under bust. Okay, so for me it is eight and I added one inch, so I'm marking nine on the pattern paper. So I'm connecting all the lines together like so. You can see what I'm doing. So I'll go ahead and cut the pattern into pieces. Okay, so this is what we have. We have a flay. So I'm going to open it up. Okay, because we need just one side of this pattern. Alright, so I'm going to open it up like so. And I'll also pick one of it and also cut it into two. So it's good for you to use a pattern paper so that you don't waste fabric. Okay, so we'll be having two pieces of each of the material. Alright, so I'll go ahead and place it on the African print. Okay, to cut out the pattern, exactly the size of the paper because I already added one inch while I was drafting the pattern. So I'll go ahead and cut, cut, cut. Okay, so after I was done cutting on the African print, I went ahead to place the pattern on the satin fabric to also cut two pieces of this. Okay, so each of it will serve for one bust at a time all right so i also opened this up so that i can have two pieces of the yellow fabric all right so the next thing we are going to do now is to cut the band that's the part that is going to be standing between the under bust and the waistline okay so I, I went ahead to cut this um, fabric into two so that it can give me the length that I need. So the width I need is going to be six inches, okay? So this was kind of two excess for me because I'm going to join it so that I can have the length I want for the waist. Okay, I'm going to join it, then measure out the length I need for the waist. So for the Ankara fa um, fabric, I'm going to measure the six inches as well. I'm going to cut it out like so okay all right so after cutting i'm going to measure out the length that i need for the band okay so in measuring the length the i mean the waist of the circumference of the waist is 30 inches okay so i'm going to subtract about four inches okay because we're going to be adding a belt at the back side Okay, so we are, I subtracted 4 inches, so that means I'm going to have 26 inches for the band. Okay, so after that, after I join the, the yellow one, I'm going to cut out the same length on the satin fabric. So this is the, the piece that is going to be serving as the rope for the neckline. Alright, I cut out two pieces of that as well. So the next thing we are going to do now is the sewing part. I'll pick one of the Ankara fabric and one of the satin fabric. Okay, so I'll be placing them right side facing each other. Okay, so after that, I'll go ahead and pick the rope already cut out and fold it like so. Right after folding, I will place the rope on that part you see me. You see me putting it, all right, that center part, then I'll sew down like so, all right, so I'll do that for the put. So after doing that, after sewing, this is what we have, the rope has been perfectly fixed, okay, so I'll go ahead and give it a nice press, okay. 
So you press, 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 press to have a neat outlook. Okay. So guys, after giving it a nice press, the next thing you want to do now is to pick the band. Okay. I've measured the same length for the satin fabric. So this is what we have for the band. So I'll go ahead and notch the center part of the band. Okay. This will enable me to know where to place the cup that we already saw. So to place the cup, you ensure the yellow part is placed on the yellow part. You know, it's going to be a reversible bralette, so the part has to be aligned, okay? So in placing this, you start from the middle part like so. And also notch from your center bust to your nipple point. So for me, mine is 4 inches. That's from the nipple point to your center bust. That's 4 inches, okay? So we are going to be having a pleat at that center bust, okay? That's a nipple point now. We'll be having pleat on it. So when you place the first part like so, on that center notch, whatever you have in excess, you pleat it on that center point okay i hope you understand what i'm saying and if you don't you understand what the video is saying okay so you measure your four inches also from the side and you place at the center with a pleat then you hold the remaining one down like so okay so you're going to pin it down like so so we'll be doing this for the both side of the cup. Okay. I think I should re-explain using the other bust. Okay. After placing the first part on the center line like so, you measure four inches from your nipple point to your side and also from the nipple point to the center of your bust. That's four inches. Okay. So whatsoever you have in excess, you pleat it at the nipple point okay so that this will help the cup to sit perfectly i mean the breast to sit perfectly inside the cup with the head of the pleats okay so i have successfully pinned everything down you can see the way i'm doing the pleating and this can be to your preference it is either you make a pleat or you make a gathers with the excess you have at that middle part so it's up to you you are going to achieve the same result so you see how the parts of the satin is looking already so after pinning down the next thing we are going to do is to place the ankara fabric on it like so all right so after placing it the next thing we are going to do is to sew straight down okay after sewing this is what we have guys so now you're going to put everything inside you tuck everything inside like this okay now we'll go ahead and sew it down okay we are going to sew down straight sewing after that this is what we have then we are going to bring everything out from one part of it okay so we'll turn it inside out like so guys this is looking beautiful already okay so after turning it out, we are going to go ahead and give it a nice press as well. So after giving it the next press, this is what we have. You can see how beautiful it's looking already. So the next thing we are going to do, I already sew a belt. I mean two pieces of belt. Okay, one for this side and the other one will serve for the other part of the back. Okay, so we are going to tuck the side in like this and place one of the side of the belt that is not secured one side of it is secured one end is secured the other side that is not secured we are going to put it inside like this and sew down okay we are after doing that to the both side of the bag this is what we have so you can just tie to your preference okay you can see we are going to be tying on the ankara part this is what you are going to have wow guys you can see how beautiful it's looking and also if you want to tie on the satin part this is what we are going to have 
So I'll just take this to the mannequin so you can see it clearly. So this is it, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Thanks for always coming back to my returning subscribers. And if you're seeing my channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Make your comments. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.